There's an old adage that if all you have is a hammer, then everything is a nail. And even worse, if all you have is a nail gun, then uh, if one nail is good, 50 or better. If you've ever done demo on construction with somebody that used a nail gun, wow. So one of the biggest roles that middle management can play in agile organizations is to not just execute. Uh, execution for execution's sake, execution for optimizing efficiency can actually cut into muscle and destroy the value that the organization is creating. And so instead of just execution as being the only tool, we need to learn how to balance execution and explore mode. And the principles of Agile apply really well with this, and it's a fundamental role that middle management can play. Check out the rant to learn more. Hi, Brent Cooper here. I'm fortunate I get to travel around the world speaking with startup founders, investors, ecosystem developers. I've learned a lot in my travels. I've got some stories. And I have some thinking that I love to share. Welcome to Brant's Rant. So in the end, what you have is middle management that's responsible for organizing the structure in order to achieve the priorities, but also that they have a means of rejigging the the organization the allocation of resources in order for those priorities so you know priorities are are going to change uh hopefully for the right reasons but in the past what this and currently what this means are massive reorganizations that completely disrupt the whole organization until the reorg is done and they're super destructive and i think that they're done for all sorts of old school hierarchical reasons. They're done in order to, you know, cover one's ass. They're done in order to protect a fiefdom. They're done in order to give yourself more time before you, you know, before, you know, Wall Street cart comes a knocking. They're done in order to, I want to take responsibility for something that's successful. So there's sort of a, there's a, all of that stuff, you know, is not magically going to go away, but when you when you decentralize the decision making, you actually decentralize a lot of the um, the ego need to be the one who is the decider. And so, I do actually think it can be reduced. Um, but fundamentally, the resiliency of an organization, how they respond to changes, is dependent upon how do you reallocate the resources on the fly versus you know these massively destructive uh, reorganizations. And so, again, the layers of middle management have the power to reallocate resources based upon priority changes, needs, um, the success uh, or needs of teams below. Um, they have the means of or the necessity to manage flow of information so that the rest of the organization is also dynamic, that they can change what they're doing based upon this new information. Uh, they are responsible for uh, setting the missions and metrics for, for the teams. Um, and so those, you know, uh, those are a roll up in order to make sure that the team's missions uh, will lead to the success of a division's metrics, which uh, correlates directly to the strategic priorities of the company. And so I, I'm hoping you're starting to imagine that rather than these middle managers being this conduit of flow of information up and down and, and you know what they feel like they need to do is manage the people below them in order to make the higher ups uh, happy. And the other way around is I manage up, right? I present what's going on in order to assuage the fears of, my boss and my boss's boss. Um, what we really want, again, is the decentralization of the power so that the work is being done at a team level. And then the flow of information becomes the results and the management is prioritizing the structure and the missions of the teams in order to achieve the, the priorities that are, are passed down. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mission critical role I think that there's likely fewer and again, a flatter hierarchy than, uh, uh, than in the past uh, or that's current. Um, 
but absolutely a mission critical role and and a set of skills there that is, uh, you know, really what middle management should be doing. It's an actively engaged mind in how you allocate resources. It's really a, you know, it's not a graduation of just somebody that succeeded at the lower level. It's it's a it's a analytical skill level and a leadership skill level that's required in order to coordinate these things and um, to make changes where uh, necessary. Um, and, uh, and and really both what um, what Jordan and uh, and Jeb get to in their startups, it's this building of trust. And, and that's a building of trust up to higher levels of management, but also down at the team level. And, uh, and it requires the other skills that I've been talking about as well, this balance of uh, uh, execution work versus exploration work uh, is, is something that, that is influenced by this middle management in order to achieve those outcomes. Uh, it's, uh, you know, this communication layer around sharing work and sharing needs and sharing results and sharing wins and, and, uh, uh, and, and, and uh, uh, empathy, understanding, you know, what's driving the, the needs of higher management, as well as empathy for the teams in order to uh, understand how, uh, how they're, uh, you know, what are their obstacles and, and, and whether they are uh, truly acting empowered, um, which is not, it's not an easy thing to do. It requires uh, active engagement uh, w- with individuals in order to teach them how to be empowered. Uh, and so it's, uh, I think, you know, like I've said, I think it's, it's underinvested and I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure that this is being tackled uh, to any large degree. Um, and I think that these roles tend to be assigned uh, in this, in the agile structure world. Um, uh, and it's usually based upon, you know, whether they've gone through uh, particular coaching around agile. And so I think that there's other skills that need to be brought into, uh, on top of the agile structure skills, there needs to be, you know, some of the soft, some of these like quote unquote softer skills, sort of the, the emotional quotient, the EQ part of, um, of building these uh, middle management, empathy, uh, exploration, uh, adhering to the evidence uh, that I, I mentioned earlier, so that they are they're selling the evidence up rather than just you know changing the the decisions um, top down because I you know I'm I'm hierarchically above you, uh, and and uh, instilling company ethos and values uh, when I'm assigning my mes- mission. So that's the ethics. Uh, component uh, component of it. And of course, like I mentioned, it's, it's really being able to influence the balance of the amount of exploration work that's, that's being done. There's a lot of fear in middle management around this idea of exploration, uh, typically practiced by, you know, the innovation team. But exploration work properly done increases the efficiency of the execution work. And that's the story that needs to be told uh, in order to get all of those five elements um, built into uh, the agile teams as well as into those that uh, those that are, are managing uh, those agile teams. Uh, love to know what you're what you're seeing in your organizations and what's working there for the the middle management layers. Hey, thanks for listening to Brands Rant. If we're choosing capitalism here as a society, then let's make it work. For a better world. If you'd like to join me as we redefine capitalism for the 21st century, go to beatpoop.co forward slash D4A. Also, if you have a pressing issue that you're facing in your innovation group, your product group, your startup, and want to join me on video, see the link below. Subscribe, like, see you next time.